So getting kids to do chores around the house is, uh, well, it's a bit of a chore itself really, isn't it? So how important is it to get the kids working and what age should they start? Joining us today on the Ann Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group is parenting coach Joyce Luters and nutrition expert Rebecca Cannon. Good morning, guys. Hello. Hi. Really nice to have you both in here. <laughs> uh, Joy, let's start with you. Uh, I know that when I ask my children to do anything, it feels like I'm punishing them because that's the way they, they react. Oh, mum, how can I change that perception? Mm, they're very good at reinforcing that aren't they um, <laughs> really selling them the team approach guys you know we're a unit here we're a team here is it fair that mum does all the work is it fair that dad does everything you know you eat the food you use the internet you use the power you use the hot water you have a bed to sleep in so we need to actually you know all pull together on this yes yeah. and if we if they are doing something then maybe we should be doing something at the same time does that help at all um, yes it can it can help yeah and also a, a tip if you have boys is always we ask do. them to do <laughs> something when they're standing up really it works with husbands too <laughs> Because it's really difficult for a male to stand up and get into moving. But if they're actually like walking through, you say, oh darling, could you just do it? And they'll just turn and do it. Whereas it's really difficult to actually get up. That is a brilliant tip. <laughs> a I'm going to use that when I go home today. I <laughs> know, uh, Rebecca, what about help in the kitchen? Um, can you give us some ideas for meal time so I can get them helping? Oh, having your toddlers and children help in the kitchen is a great way to spark an interest in food. It's a great learning opportunity and it's a lot of fun. And in fact, some of my earliest members, memories as a toddler are doing just that with my parents. And we know that if children start off early in the kitchen and gain that confidence with food, then they're much more likely to develop healthy eating patterns as they grow older. Right, just little jobs. Obviously, yeah. you don't give them the sharp knives, no, 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 too. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Just something easy and fun and, and keep them supervised and just talk them through it and they'll have a lot of fun with you. Excellent. Uh, Joy, should kids get pocket money for doing jobs? I would not recommend tying pocket money in with chores because chores are a duty and pocket money is a privilege. And you can find yourself in that space where you can withhold a privilege, but if you do that and your, your child might say, well, if I don't get my pocket money, I'm not mowing the lawns, which is a war cry of a feisty child. Yes. So, um, yeah, I mean, we don't, as parents, we don't get paid to cook dinner, we don't get paid to wash the car. So that's our duty, and that's, mm. as I mentioned before, that's part of the family team. And a really helpful phrase to use is, in our family, we are a team. In our family, we help out, we support each other. In our family, we all pull together. Yeah, I yeah. like that, because you're right, you've got to watch out with that, uh, that paying them to do things, because mm. then they're just going to rebel and not do anything. Uh, now, Rebecca, we have a question from a viewer, Nikita Chance. She says she's got a fussy eater in the family. Could helping prep the meals help? Absolutely, think? it's a great idea. I mean, if they are a little bit fussy, then having them with you in the kitchen and introducing them to the ingredients and flavours of the meal is a great way to familiarise them with the meal that you're going to make and help to build their appetite. And there's loads of things they can do depending on their age, whether it's mixing things or helping make a salad or even just sprinkle some cheese on a pizza. Um, you know, you can get their input too. So if they have a favourite vegetable, um, you know, suggest putting that in the meal and they can help prep that. And, you know, if it's appropriate, get them to taste some of the ingredients and mm. things as you go along. And that'll familiarise them with the taste and the textures. And most important, though, you know, praise them for what they're doing and make them really enjoy it. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Uh, let's go through some ages and some stages in, shall we? Uh, what could two to five year olds be doing? OK, yeah. So, um, best thing to do is, first of all, choose a recipe that's going to be simple, really straightforward and have some instant results, like maybe um, making a pizza or a salad or an omelette. And then it can start at the grocery stores, so getting them to pick out one of their favourite um, fruits or vegetables to incorporate into that meal. And then when you're home, of course, make sure they're somewhere safe in the kitchen and never leave them unattended, of course. Yes. Um, but then, you know, for really young children, you can start them by washing, getting them to wash some of the fruits or vegetables and um, strawberries or carrots and radishes. And while you do that, talk them through the tastes and textures and flavours and you know, maybe even introduce some of the health benefits of what they're washing and mm. gonna eat that evening. Um, and then of course kids love um, mashing things up like avocado flesh or b cooked potato or stirring things or pouring cold fluids like milk or yeah. water into things. And then when they get a bit older, they can do things like maybe break an egg into a dish or set the timer with you. Um, Lots of little all, things they yeah, can be doing. It's all great mm. to involve them. Mash, taste and eat the strawberries. Yeah. Uh, Joy, what happens when they get a little bit older, say maybe from 10 years up, what can they be doing then quickly? 
um, keeping in the kitchen or in the dining room space, get them doing chores like setting and clearing the table, um, loading the dishwasher, <sighs> unloading the dishwasher, oh, I love that. feeding <laughs> the pets, all these sorts of things. But a tip around that is have a weekly allotted time. So Bertie, you're on setting this week, and Harriet, you're on clearing this week, so that you don't get the, the daily, oh, I did it, it was your turn, and then that everyone can, no one can remember, and everyone gets confused, and it's a big kerfuffle. Yes. So just forward planning with all things with children. Right. Make sure that they know what's going to happen and what the expectations are. Great advice, and that definitely resonates. Thank you both <laughs> so much for joining us today on Coffee Group. Coffee Group is brought to you by Anne Mum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. And if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, comment on the cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this cool digibook right here and Mumpedia Pro 3 toddler milk and the cute teddy as well. The frightened frog. Congratulations to this week's winner Nikita Chant. Really really great question.